What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to unbox and set up the Bamboo Lab P1S printer. It's gonna look like this once we're all set up. I'm gonna make sure this video is straight to the point and super straightforward for somebody setting up this printer for the first time so you can start printing immediately. So with that being said, let's get right into it. When you're taking it out of the box, they put these two plastic things on the side so you can easily just lift it up. So go ahead and put your printer on the ground just to make it easier for you. Then you can just lift it right out. And then you can go ahead and put it on your shelf or wherever you're gonna use the printer and then we'll rip this plastic off. We got some more tape and plastic to rip off, so go ahead and do that. And you'll have to pull off this adhesive on the inside before you can take off this piece of plastic. And you'll pull this box out from the top. It has a glass lid that's removable. So just go ahead and rip off this tape and then we can get that out. And take the lid off. Go ahead, pull this out. And now you can easily remove the box with all of the spare parts and tools. So now moving on to the inside, you can go ahead and pull these out. Take this piece of tape off. And then don't worry about pulling out these two pieces under the build plate. You can't remove them right now. Once you start up the printer, the build plate will rise up and then you'll be able to remove them. So just leave those in for now. So in here, there are two zip ties that you cut. And then you're good to remove this cardboard right here. Take this little sticker off. We'll take this out. So now we're gonna go grab some stuff out of this box that was located on the inside of the printer. You got 250 grams of PLA filament. And what we're looking for is this spool holder to put on the back. And then we are going to go into this box right here. And we're gonna pull out the Allen key. So go into the box and get the spool holder and the Allen key. Now turn the printer around. And this spool holder will go right here. You're going to remove this screw on the inside and then just leave the one on the outside. So you can take that out. Then you're going to go back into the little box where you got the Allen key and look for the two screws and the label spool holder. And then when you put this on, make sure you have the text top on the top. And then once you attach the spool holder, you are good to turn your printer back around. Okay, so now we're gonna go inside the printer and this is a very important step. I cannot emphasize this enough. There are three screws in here, all marked with this orange arrow. There's one on the left side, there's one back here, and then there's one on the right side. So these are keeping the build plate down. You're gonna take your Allen key and we're gonna remove all three of these. Number one. Number two, and number three. So now we're gonna go back into this bigger box and grab out the LCD screen. I go and free up this cable and take off this tape. And then there's a little piece here. Now we're gonna take this out of the plastic and then we are going to plug it in and then clip it in on the side. So just go ahead and connect that cable right here. And then you're going to slide it into these four slots and then slide it to the left until you hear it a little click. Just like that. So now go grab the lid of the printer and take off this quick start manual because now you're going to set up your Bamboo Handy app and you're going to link this printer. Once you have your quick start guide, you can flip to this page right here and then you can scan this QR code with your phone and you can download the Bamboo Handy app. Since I already have it downloaded and have my account set up, go ahead and pause this video, download it, set up your account and then come back to the video. So once you have the app downloaded and your account set up, we're gonna go back into this big box and we're going to grab the power cable. Then you're gonna turn your printer around and then plug it in. So from here, we're gonna turn the printer on, just flip the switch in the back and it's gonna start up. 
So now it's gonna make you go through a few different prompts. Just make sure to put all of your info in. So North America for me. And from here, you're gonna take out your Bamboo Handy app on your phone and then scan this QR code. So here in the Bamboo Handy app, I can click this button up here to scan. Go ahead and scan that. And then you will link the printer. So since this is my third P1S printer with no AMS, I'm gonna name it P1S no AMS three, and then confirm. So once you're finally finished with that, the LCD screen will start running the self-test. We can go ahead and click OK. And then this is where the print bed will raise up. So you can go ahead and pull these out now. One and two. So now it's running through the self-test. The bed is going to raise all the way up. It's going to start moving around and shaking. And at one point, it's going to sound like your printer is about to blast off into space. It's going to be really loud. Don't be alarmed. That's completely normal. The first time I heard it, I was like, oh my God, did I, did I break something? What's going on here? But just know when that starts happening, it's completely normal and there's nothing to worry about. So after it's done the self-test, it might prompt you that there's a new firmware update available. In my case, there is. So go ahead and update the firmware. So now that our firmware has successfully updated, I'm going to go ahead and skip that. And now we're ready to load up some filament and do our first test print. So from this home screen, we're going to go down to feeding and we're going to click load. And while it's heating up, this is a good time to put the lid on the top. Then you'll have this facing the front of the printer, put it on from the back and just lower it down. So now our nozzle is all heated up. We can go ahead and grab this test filament they sent us. You'll remove this piece right here. Go ahead and cut that off. And now we're gonna head to the back of the printer. So from here, just make sure you're holding the end of this filament so it's easier. You're gonna put it on the spool holder and then you're gonna grab this white Bowden tube. You're gonna put the filament in and then just keep pushing it forward until it stops and it eventually grabs it. And then we're just gonna wait until we see some of the filament come out. Gonna hit retry because I don't see any. Retry again. And you may need to click retry a few times just until you see it start coming out of the nozzle. All right, so now I see the filament come out of the nozzle. I can go back to the LCD screen, go up to done. It's gonna push a little more out and now we are ready to start the first print. So I'm just gonna go ahead and print one of the included stock files. We can come down to here, and then all those little boats you see people printing are the Benchy. It's the second option for me. So I can go ahead and click print. It's gonna take about 14 minutes, and we will start the print. And then once you click start, you just sit back and let the printer do its thing. And there we go, the test print is complete. I hope this video helped you set up your Bamboo Lab P1S printer so now you can stop watching this video and start creating.